my last two weeks before where I'm at now, I tried to put together this whole video and it kept giving me errors when I exported it out of iMovie, so I couldn't figure out how to fix it. So just combining that all here. Okay, so I started prep at officially at 18 weeks out. I was um, 139.6 and 15.2% body fat. My goal at that point was 15.5%. So since I had surpassed that, I was so excited and my coach gave me a cheat meal. I was like seriously so caught off guard and excited that I didn't even know what I wanted to have. So I was like figuring out all day what I wanted to have and I ended up going with a sandwich, but it was a good sandwich, not just any sandwich, one from a real full on butcher. And then I made some brownies with my kids and I had two brownies and a sandwich. So I felt super satisfied, ready to go, no more BLTs and no more cheat meals until the cruise, which actually is in like less than a week from now when I'm recording this. So that week went awesome. I stayed exactly 100% on track. Um, my next check-in, I had actually lost a pound and a half. I was down to 137.6, but my body fat didn't change quite as much. So it changed to 14.9%. With about a third of a percent, we were hoping for closer to a half. So um, we actually cut about 50 calories from carbs and added five minutes of cardio onto each cardio session. So my updated macros were about 1700 calories, 40 grams of fat, oh, we also cut a few grams of fat as well. 40 grams of fat, 158 grams of carbs, and 180 protein. Hey guys, Saturday night. I have not gone anywhere today, except for Walmart. So I haven't done my hair, my makeup. I went to Costco also, yes. We're just sitting here watching the Olympics. I filmed some videos, some workout videos. I filmed a recipe video. Aubrey is super warm because she's doing gymnastics. I wanted to share with you guys a tip I make all the time, but a lot during prep, to make my veggies more flavorful. And that is to caramelize or pickle, either one, kind of both actually, my red onions. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you what I do. I start by using um, a mandolin and thinly slice my red onions and then I cover them in liquid and I try to do about half vinegar and half water and then I am boiling this or like high heat until all of the water boils out and then um, once the water is boiled out I will um, add some salt and kind of like saute them around until they're all kind of caramelized and that's it and that lasts me the whole entire week okay so now all the water is gone and now I just kind of saute these guys around until they're kind of caramelized. And I add some salt, and I may add a little bit of garlic this time too. That's it, pickled onions. Hi guys, it's Sunday, I slept in, it's 8.30. Um, I wanna show you my breakfast that I've been having post-workout. It's weird, but it's so good. Okay, check this out. Um, it is chicken and oats and I saute it around until the oats get nice and toasty. And then I top it with like banana that's sliced really thin and um, some cashew butter. It is so good. And before you tell me it's not good, let me tell you something. Let me tell you that chicken pairs with waffles, right? Chicken and waffles? Waffles are like oats. Peanut butter pairs with chicken. Have you ever had Thai food? See? peanut butter pairs with banana. All these flavors go together. So you might as well put them together in one yummy breakfast bowl. Okay, so here's the finished product right here, you guys. The key is to spray your pan and pour in your oats and chicken and um, saute it over like kind of high heat a little bit, like six and a half, seven. And then you spray your oats and chicken and then add some salt and one packet of stevia. Stir that around till it's nice and toasty. And there you have it. All right, friends, good morning. It is Monday, February 12th, I believe. And I've got a little bit more cardio this week, five more minutes, and some new intense workouts. So it is 4.55, and I'm now on a 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. gym schedule. So 4.55, I'm here. There's not many cars in the parking lot. And I'm gonna go in and kill this intense workout. I've got legs and arc trainer intervals arc trainer intervals is what I said so I'm gonna go get going here hey guys so I had my leg workout and today I am working from home and I just did my posing session 
I put all my stuff away. I'm not gonna show you guys yet. <laughs> my posing coach is Francesca Loren, and she is super awesome. She's an IFBB bikini pro, um, a mom. She's just way cool. And she's a she's a good bikini pro. She's got like, um, I think she's going to the, I don't know if she's going to the Arnold actually. She's competing this weekend. Um, so she's so, so awesome. So I just set up in my kitchen, brought out my big mirror, put on some booty shorts and sports bra and my five inch heels. Got some good stuff to practice. So once I've got a little routine down, then I'll show it to you guys. Got a photo shoot today. We're gonna be shooting here in the gym. We're gonna freeze this out over here. There's both the mats. All of our video guys are named Matt. Is that funny? There's Matt over there. There's another Matt over there. So I'm gonna show you guys. Whoa, it's cold. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some behind the scenes footage. Check out our gym. All over here behind me. It's gonna be awesome. I just ate some brown rice and tilapia and stir fry veggies. And I'm feeling good. Ready to go do this. Matt's filming some atmosphere. What exactly is that? Like smoke? Just uh, fog juice. Fog juice? Fog. That's cool. So see how the light when it hits it kind of gives more beam? Yeah. I love it. That's I'm exciting. Some atmosphere. Is that smoke going? What was that? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Just build up some atmosphere. That's right. The wind was. Pushing it down. Blows it away so fast? No, I'm sucking it out. It will, yeah, but that's nice. We need a wafter. Can I see you? Yeah. Can I see that here? Two, so we'll call that your one. Okay. Go to two, we're just standing up. <laughs> Action! Just behind the scenes, just got to the next level. The ducks are dying <laughs> up. <laughs> Slow push out. <laughs> any weight at all I was the same 137.6 and um, my body fat dropped to 14.4 so that's a half percent which was awesome that's what our goal is so we didn't make any changes so that brought us to where we are at now you guys.
guys just had my 15 week check-in but first of all I just want to see what a winter wonderland it is out here check it out oh I can't show you let me show you look at that can you guys see it's looking so it's like all blurry it is such a winter wonderland and that's my fridge my fridge is still broken and so all the food is out on our deck still watch this getting ready for my cruise that is full you guys check this out this right here full of ideal fit and ideal shape samples for the people coming on the cruise it's gonna be awesome Packing up today, leaving tomorrow night. Crew starts Sunday. Check this out, you guys. That's my fridge. It's been broken, completely broken, for over a week. But that is not an excuse to not stay on plan. Look at that. I was able to clean it. Look how awesome that looks. If they could just get the motor running, that would be fantastic. So, just had my check-in with Christy. This was the last check-in before the cruise. And I had dropped a pound this week. I was 136.6. So I was super excited about that because I was stuck at 137 for a couple weeks before that. Um, my body fat dropped 0.4. So it went from 14.48 to 14.1. So I was hoping for a little bit more of a drop, but that's okay. That's awesome. Going on the cruise at 14%, I feel really good about that. So, um... Obviously, we didn't make any program changes this week because I'll be off plan a little bit. Um, I'm going to be getting a lot of cardio in. I actually have two fun little challenges. Um, my assistant, Sarah, and I, we decided we are going to climb every single stair in the ship every day as part of a workout. Well, so we'll probably do some more than once a day because we'll have to, like, go up and down to, like, eat and stuff, you know? And the other one is throughout the course of the six days, we're gonna do every single workout in the cardio ebook. Granted, we're just gonna choose one level, either level two or three, but there's 15 different workouts at each level, so 45 total. So we're gonna do all 15 in the level that we decide on. <laughs> Depends on how tired we are. Um, that is in addition to the group workouts that we'll be doing and the hike and just lifting and being active. So um, my coach, Christy, is letting me have some flexibility on this cruise. Um, my guidelines are eating every two to three hours, protein in each meal, um, only one dessert a day, which sounds like a lot, but on a cruise, if you guys have been on a cruise, you know what I'm talking about. One dessert a day is limiting it, but that's fine. I'm still 15 weeks out on bikini prep. So one dessert a day. I'm not even going to look at the lunch desserts because I want to enjoy my dessert at dinner with the group that we're traveling with. Um, yeah, so it's going to be awesome. And a lot of fun. I'm excited to have a lot of fruit, um, just kind of some flexibility in my choices, and just be really, really active. So, really happy with where I've come so far. I started out January 1st at 17.8% body fat, 143 pounds. Now it's been about eight weeks, down to 136.6 and 14.1% body fat. Couldn't be happier and ready to go on this cruise. It's gonna be awesome. All right, you guys, so that's been my update for the last few weeks of prep. Next video, I'm gonna show you guys a sneak peek into our cruise and kind of how I handled that situation. But if you like this video, please um, support me and my channel by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends. I will see you guys next time.